Greetings and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Clifton 3 d Today, we will be delving into a recent development at the Disney parks, as well as discussing the individual who is reportedly involved, known as Drunk 3PO. So stay tuned as we dive into the details of this topic. Disney bans multiple live streamers, cops swarm Magic Kingdom. Of course, this comes to us from yesterday. It looks like live streaming may finally be banned at Walt Disney World. Over the past few years, the influx of vloggers and live streamers at Walt Disney World has significantly increased. Post the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw a creative renaissance when it comes to Disney content on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and more. Disney has even capitalized on social media and filming, including live streaming their own events, such as the 50th anniversary celebration. Lately, we have seen Disney alter the rules when it comes to filming on attractions. At Walt Disney World, we have seen Space Mountain and Thrawn light cycle run at Magic Kingdom ban filming when it comes to a camera or phone that is not mounted to the guest or rider. Disneyland has also banned filming on Incredit Coaster unless properly mounted as well as Goofy Sky School. Being recorded by other guests may upset some visitors as some video footage may be more close up and personal or potentially could capture embarrassing information. And due to the nature of the internet, you could be immoralized in someone else's video and not even know it. What's up, Pooh? Oh, there. oh my god, he fell. Oh. No! Oh, no! Okay, guys, I just want everyone to know that Pooh is fine. What's up, Winnie the Pooh? Didn't wave at me, but uh, Tigger did. There you go. Who's fine even though it didn't weigh that? Of course, this is often not the intent of the guests filming, but due to the crowded nature of the parks, it is nearly impossible to capture a shot without any guests in the background. However, the Tokyo Disney Resort recently updated its policy regarding filming and changes could affect bloggers and vloggers. The use of commercial shooting, etc., and shooting equipment, excluding hand sized grip attachments, is now completely prohibited. Although the phrasing is kind of vague, especially when it comes to the filming of YouTube or other content, some hope that it will at least cut down on the activity. It should be noted that many Disney fans rely on these videos, whether they are live streams, or vlogs at the Disney parks to get them through the Disney blues and to allow them to feel like they are still a part of the magic. These videos can help immerse fans who are not able to be at the parks at the moment and give them a feeling of being at Walt Disney World. The videos are also often informative and can help educate those coming on vacation. It also can allow guests to become more familiar with the parks, especially if they have never been there before. As we mentioned, many of these content creators want to film Disney and not the hordes of crowds around them. And many do their best to keep others out of their shoot so that they can be the focus of their video. Even Disney conducts live streams on their YouTube channel which often will catch some other guests in the parks who are watching a show or in the vicinity of filming. Only time will tell how this new ruling affects vlogging culture going forward, at least in Tokyo Disney. We recently saw a Disneyland YouTuber get a lifetime ban from Disneyland after attempting to sneak into the park and trying to stay overnight. When you are at Disney, of course, guests can enjoy all the attractions, watch the shows, meet their favorite characters, take photos in front of Cinderella Castle, and create the best memories. But while doing so, guests must remember 
that they are on private property and Disney has their own set of rules that guests must abide to. Another guest has received a lifetime ban after sneaking into Disneyland Resort and attempting to stay overnight in one of the bathrooms. YouTuber Pete Z has been growing his following as of late by sneaking into different locations. Recently, Pete decided he would try to sneak into Disneyland and film the whole thing. He used a safety vest and created a fake employee ID card. But in the end, he found a way to walk into a cast member entrance and walk directly into Disneyland Park. Of course, this was trespassing and is grounds for not only a lifetime ban, but also a potential arrest. Pete went as far as digging through trash and eating the remains of a churro to not spend any money that day. He attempted to stay overnight, but security found him in the bathroom. Pete waved what he said was a trespass notice at the end of the video. Activities like this are not at all allowed and can cause serious consequences. Now, a popular live streamer by the name of Neon was recently in Walt Disney World Resort and got banned at the Magic Kingdom. The streamer was told that filming with professional equipment was not allowed. The streamer refused to leave as he noted that there are tons of others filming in the park, which caused higher management, security, and cops to come and escort them off the property. The streamer was very disrespectful to Disney management and accused the cops of pulling a gun on them in the Magic Kingdom when he tried to run away. At this point, the cameras were not pointed at the cops, so there was no official proof. The trash pass was live streamed entirely, and there were 100,000 people watching the viral video. In the end, Neon and his girlfriend Sam were escorted off the property and had to collect their belongings at their Disney hotel. The pair joked about flying to Disneyland as he was not banned there and managed to get a hug from one of the cops before hopping into the taxi that Disney called for him, as he is no longer allowed to ride Disney transportation. Neon called Disney child groomers as he was escorted out of Walt Disney World Resort. Of course, this behavior is not permitted and his behavior led to his inevitable trespass. I really don't think it's okay to trespass and do stuff like that. And if their policy is that you're not allowed to have professional filming equipment, then that's what it is. But he is right about one thing. Disney are child groomers. The more interesting thing here is that he was asked to bring his camera equipment back to his car and return to the parks. It seemed that initially the streamer did nothing but film the parks with his camera, which indicates that Disney is now moving to ban live streaming. It was not specified what equipment was being used, but it seemed that the gimbal and camera were being used, which is something that we often see in the parks. However, Disney is now restricting that equipment for some. According to the video above, it seems that Disney can use their rule which notes commercial filming is not allowed nor are guests activities and behaviors allowed to affect the experience of other guests to stop someone from filming. Disney also then trespassed another YouTube live streamer, Sneeko was trespassed and according to Disney, there doesn't have to be a reason. It will be interesting to see what this means for the hundreds of other live streamers that frequent Disney World each day as the crackdown of filming has commenced. I'd like to clarify that my previous mention of Drunk 3PO being responsible was purely in jest. While Drunk 3PO's video may appear to suggest that the Canadian bear tried to murder Pooh, within the confines of Minecraft, of course, we cannot definitively establish responsibility. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on this matter, so please share your opinions in the comments below. Do you believe it is a prudent decision to impose bans on streaming and filming within Disney parks? Do you think the actions of the streamers mentioned in this article warranted their respective punishments? 
is drunk 3PO to blame. If you found this video informative and enjoyable, I encourage you to show your support by smashing that like button, considering a subscription to the channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell for updates on future content. Thank you for joining, and until next time, take care.